Hey guys, welcome back. So we're going to do an unboxing and a little review of the Mint Flash Bar. So stay tuned. All right, so here's the Mint Flash Bar 2. It's the second version they had of this. They did make some improvements from the first one. It's a cool little box. Open up. So you have your little instruction manual. Warranty card. And this is how it comes in there. Here's your flash bar. And it does come with these nice two um, filters. Now, the reason why I recommend this if you have SX70 or any of the cameras that need a flash bar is because this, even though it is expensive up front, it's like between 80 bucks to 90 bucks, just depends where you buy it. Um, it's much cheaper than the old flash bars because these you can still kind of find them especially on like eBay and Amazon but they're like 20 bucks 15 between 15 and 20 dollars for each one and once when you use them they gotta be pitched so you're gonna pay a lot of money if you use flash a lot so it is best to buy an electronic flash and this thing is really cool because it does have some settings on here um, it has half power for if you're going to use 600 film um, so it's not gonna be so bright and it's gonna you don't have to use an ND filter either on it um, just have it on half power and there you go if you have SX70 film in your SX70 and then you want to switch it all the way over to the far one for full power and here's the kind of symbols and then all the way over this way is turns it off here's your test fire button and what's really cool about these filters is so I think if I remember correctly the yellowish one here is for like black and white film supposed to give it a little softer uh, fill to your images but they have this little felt piece here and there's a magnet and they just stick to your camera the pink one is right here same thing but if you want to make a if you want a red filter you combine them two together and it turns it into red and it's kind of hard to see here but I'll show you through here so there's pink there's your yellow put them together now you have a red filter and they'll both stick on there just like that and there you go so it's kind of cool you get three filters technically um, so on your SX70 you will just plug it here like you do any other normal one and open your camera like normal like you do any other SX70 now this one, uh, I've not really had a problem yet, but I heard it can use up the batteries quite a bit um, for the flash. So I guess I should have showed you that. The batteries go right here on the side. It just takes two double A's, or triple A's. That's kind of nice though, because triple A's are easy to find. They're kind of cheap. But, um, so I always keep a pack of them in my uh, camera bag. So put it back on here. The uh, cycle time, especially if you haven't used it for a while, can take quite a while for it to charge. And there's two light indicators here. The first thing you'll see will be a blue one. Then it's going to switch to green when it's ready to be fired, as you can see it did there. It did it pretty quickly because I've already had it on a little bit before this video. Um, you want to do a test fire. And that kind of show you how long it takes to recycle. Here we go. There's the blue. It does take a little bit of time, and that's been the number one complaint um, of this flash. And this is only on half power, too, so it's not using all the power. So there it went. On full power, it takes a little longer. We'll switch it over to full power, which it should be ready to go. And it's going to take a little bit longer. So that's one thing you got to remember when you're using this flash, though, is to look at that light and make sure it's green. Um, before you fire you're going, or you're not going to have a flash with your image and you'll have a dark uh, underexposed image um, my camera here is already ready to take 600 film because i modified but and you see it's still taking forever look at that now it finally turned green um, but you still only want to use half power anytime you're using 600 film no matter what you want to use half power with this flash bar 
SX70 film, you always want to use the full power flash. Um, but it does great because I so far indoors and stuff, I've not had to mess with my um, exposure at all. I'll be on half power and using, like I said, this has already been modified electronically to, um, to change the shutter speed for the 600 film. And it does great. I mean, amazing photos. Here's a couple I just took with it. And so these, of course, are black and white. But these were on half power, no adjustments whatsoever. And it's just unbelievable how sharp these images really are uh, about this camera. I just really love my SX70. It's a camera I really recommend for anybody. But the flash is amazing on this. Um, I really recommend this flash. I know it's a little pricey, but it is a good flash to have for your camera. It is going to make a big difference. And it's going to be more cost effective in the long run than using the um, old flash bars. So, and it's nice when you fold the camera down, it does look really nice. Turn it off. And there you go. I don't like leaving it on there because I don't want to take the risk of it breaking. Because you don't want to break those prongs off there or you're going to ruin the flash and you just ruined $80. Um, plus, you don't want to damage your uh, flash port on the top. So, I do recommend it. And I'll put a link in my description. I bought this on Amazon. And um, hopefully you guys will enjoy it too as much as I did. And don't forget to um, also share my video if you like this video. Um, on across, your, uh, across your social media platforms. And don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate that. It helps out the channel. And it helps YouTube to spread my videos. And tell your friends about my channel. And have them subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye.